Hello and welcome to X-Ray or Kickstand Comedy's Best Bets in Comedy on X-Ray FM. I'm Aaron Kiter and I'm here with my friend Dylan Reef. Hello, how's it going, uh, Drive Time listeners? It's uh, it's nice to be here this morning with you, Aaron. Yeah, it's nice to be here with you as well. Uh, you you made it right under the wire. I yeah, I did. Uh, this is really a, a this is a unique story local to me and probably won't resonate with people. My alarm didn't uh, go off this morning. Can you believe it? I know that I'm probably the only person this is affected. That's ever said that before. Yeah. 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 No, well, what happened? What did it just decide not to go off? Like? You know, I I will tell you up front that I'm not a genius bar uh, owner, operator, or employee. I so, never said that you were. Okay, so I, I I will tell you that I remember pressing the buttons, mm -hmm. and in the morning my eyes confirmed that I hadn't. So somewhere in the middle there was a disconnect. Uh, I'm not sure whose fault it is. I am pretty sure the iPhone. Okay, yeah, that's it's probably best just to take. I would take it over to Apple Care. Say, hey, um, I was late, mm -hmm. and it's uh, your product's fault. It usually works. Yeah, and we are sponsored by the iPhone uh, X, <laughs> so I do want to give another couple shout outs to the iPhone. Uh, they give us a lot of money to be here. Half of my salary, honestly, is Papa Apple. So thank you, Papa Apple. Thank you for uh, that great, great product that you put out that has ch revolutionized our lives. That's right, Tim. Uh, Tim Timothy Cook. It, it, Excuse me. Right. Come in. Hello. Uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, uh, hey, sorry. I'm gonna get here. Sit down in the seat here. Hey. Uh, hey. Hi. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey. Uh, well, sorry. we just had someone walk in the studio. This I, is the first. I'm. So, I'm really sorry. I apologize. This is not what I intended. I didn't know this was a radio broadcast. I didn't know. How did you not? Yeah. Did you just walk in the studios? And, uh, uh, I'm a little lost. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for directions. Uh. So, um, I came in, I've been in Portland here for a bit, about a week and a half. I heard there's, uh, Hollywood's around here. Hollywood? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a Hollywood Yeah, there's area. a Hollywood, uh, So, Portland. I'm looking for the Universal City Walk. Who? Oh, okay. Let's, let's establish yeah. some ground rules here. This is the Kickstand Best Bets radio show here on X-Ray FM. You just wandered into a building with a locked door. You went down oh, a I flight. Oh, I can get through locks. Okay. It's not a okay. big deal for me. Oh, um, sorry. But you just wandered off the street, and you're, you're asking for directions to the Universal... City Walk. The large conglomerate of chain franchises... Of yeah, restaurants. Yeah, you're, you're a long ways off, my friend. What? Uh, I don't. I don't know how you were wandering around L.A. and uh, L.A. Is that where you we're think? in Portland, Oregon? We're in Portland, yeah, I think, Oregon. I think yeah. you want to be uh, in Los Angeles, California. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. I'm. It, it, do you guys have a Margaritaville here? Hmm. I don't think we do. No. You know, uh, we we just lost our last Applebee's. I know. Uh, oh. If that we it, it's gone now, but oh we had an gosh, Applebee's. That is terrible. But oh, say a I, I'm, I'm supposed to meet my wife at Margaritaville. Whoa. I I have no idea where you're supposed to meet your yeah. wife because because it I there's not a Margaritaville to my knowledge. Oh, so X-ray listeners, uh, occasionally we do have interesting guests come on the show. One just happened to walk in the studio right now. Um, and, and I apologize for that. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. What was your name, by the way? Uh, my name's Tyler Scripps. Hi, Tyler. Well, so if, folks I, I, who are listening right now, if you know where the Margaritaville is in Portland, please do call, call in because yeah, we we know. don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm. I just here. I, I have a list of every major American city that might contain a Margaritaville, okay. and I'm just gonna knock Portland, Portland, Maine. This is not Portland, that. Oregon. I'm sorry, friend. guys. I've been. Well, are we gonna get a story? Yeah. Oh, well, boy. I don't mean to. His I've eyes been... are glazed over, and he's looking off real hard into the distance. I've been on a journey since 2006 to find the Margaritaville where my wife and I will reunite. Oh, that's interesting. That's a that's a kind of strange twist on a like a Cinderella story there, I guess. Yeah. Are yeah. you star-crossed lovers or did you just screw well, up directions? Uh so me and her were at a DMB show. It was a killer set. A DNB? Uh D and B. Dave, Dave Matthews. Matthews Band. Band. Okay. I thought you said you were at a D and B show, like a drum and bass show, <laughs> and I didn't take you for a raver. So No, no, no. I don't even know what those words mean. Okay. I love the sweet sounds of Dave. Mm -hmm. The killer sax. Oh my God! Who was it? Tate was on the keys that night. Oh my God! They performed Crush, Kit Kat Jam. Ugh. Oh, those those two songs. Ah, oh, gosh, those are a treat. Those were a treat. But for some reason, my my lovely lady Linda, uh, she was not feeling it that night. She took the SUV back, and I said, I'm gonna take public transit. Pub public transit. Oh, that was your accent. Really uh, was heavy. Yeah, there. it's coming through real hard. 
and I I went to go track her down, and I haven't found her yet. So you've been on a quest to reunite with your wife after the Dave Matthews Band for 12 years? Yeah, about. 13? 13. Yeah, I that's think... getting close. I have it marked on my skin here. Whoa, oh, my gosh. That's yeah. a graphic tattoo. Uh, handmade myself. Oh, yeah, it's a stick and poke, clearly. Yeah. Yes. Tyler, I gotta say, either you or your wife are, I think, missing. Yeah, is there a missing persons report out for well, either she's, of you? she's a smart lady, and how hard is it to find a Margaritaville? Apparently, it's very hard, because you've been searching for this Margaritaville I've for 13 years. I've been to about 15 of them at this point. F you're averaging about one a year? Well... My car broke down. Oh, no. Well, my friend's car, I had to borrow it, and it broke down. He doesn't know where I am. He, he currently hates me. Oh. I have a lot of enemies. Wow, Tyler. So you're just, like, kind. Of, this is kind of like the plot to uh, the first Rambo movie, a where little, you got back from the war, Rambo. and you're just traveling the countryside looking for uh, your joie de vivre, uh, which happens to be Margaritaville. Uh, yeah, it's kind of be, you know, I mean, they have great margaritas, great apps, and, and then someday I wish to be reunited with the love of my life and find eternal happiness. But so far, it's just been a lot of enemies, a lot of sleeping outside. I had to fight coyotes off once. I really think this is the plot from Rambo First Blood. I really <laughs> think, right. like, this, this is, is that, very right. eerily yeah. close to... I don't see it. <laughs> I've only seen yeah. Rambo 2, honestly, and that's a great film. That is. I mean, he he's there's a lot of shooting. And are, I've never been to the Middle East. Are, are you having, like, flashbacks yeah. of, of the, the Dave Matthews concert or yeah. anything like that? Uh, Do you dream I, about it every night? I dream of it in uh, just, oh, my God. When they were playing Ants Marching Again, <laughs> he brought it out, and I said, ah! What a dream! Hey, can you uh, just? You're a big, big DMB fan, right? Yeah, of course. Just give us a little, give us a little of your take on the beginning of Ants Go Marching. Give us a little. Ding, 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 ding. Oh wow! Oh, well, yeah. don't, but don't, don't, ding, oh man! Oh, I man, you're to... taking me back to yeah, the concert right now. Yeah, I just now. had a yeah. flashback. <laughs> I, Dylan, seventh grade, sitting under the stars, listening to Ants Go Marching, dreaming about a life uh, yet to be lived. Yeah. Just, just the joy I felt, and I think I, I would hum myself to sleep when I would have to, you know, look at the moon and think of her. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry that you've been separated from your wife for 13 years. Uh, so, the, what is the significance of Margaritaville? It seems to be like your favorite. Great apps, great margaritas. G yeah, and uh, some great, great tunes too. Great, great tunes. tunes. Yeah, very Jimmy relaxing. Buffett. You know. I mean, at this point, it <sighs> kind of causes me a little bit of pain. Me and Jimmy have a bit of a twisted relationship with yeah. you have a twisted relationship with jimmy buffett oh wow. yeah i've been in a fight with most of his restaurant managers oh yeah i yeah. usually go and they're screaming like where's carolyn yeah where is she carol who's carolyn carolyn or linda carolyn linda my wife oh okay, <laughs> okay great so good, good. so you go in guns blazing you're ready to throw down because yeah I'm this i understand that your emotions must be running very high you know yeah, I, I don't shower a lot. I look we angry. Tell. My yep. shirt's mostly tattered off, if you can't tell. Yeah. I can tell. And I just miss Carolyn Linda so much. Yeah. yeah. But so you've, you've, how do, how does a fight, like, so you, do you, is it kind of like in a martial arts movie where you point at the manager and then the manager looks at you and then you fight in the middle of the margarita? Room? Usually I'll grab a parrot that's hanging on the <laughs> ceiling. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's a brutal a a Find a weapon, get, get like a billy club or something. I mean, I'd love to go in there peacefully. Why are you brutalizing these managers? Listen, you, I, the first time I came in peacefully, I tried to enjoy a nice meal. I didn't have any money. Yeah. I kind of have lost my credit cards or traded them mm. off to drifters. Or you Traded your credit cards to drifters? Yeah. What do you get in return for those? Not much. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> they don't have your pin. Look, they can't I didn't do have a lot. I, I haven't been to work in about 13 years. Where did you, know? you work at? Uh, I was the uh, manager at Sears. Oh, oh that's okay. a good job. Yeah, it's a good. Uh, it was a high quality job for sure. Uh, t you know, you're a Sears man. Uh, are malls on the decline? Uh, I don't know. I was trying to go to the. Uh, what was that mall? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was at a mall. It ended up in a battle at a at a what is it? An Orange Julius oh, after I tried yeah. to escape a Margaritaville there. I think that was the one in Chicago. I can't remember. It was so cold. I couldn't feel my fingers. Tyler, we just got a message from the booth. Um, it's from somebody. It just says CLS. It just says, it's over. 
It's over. CLS. What could that stand for? Caroline Linda. It's over. And so, it's overpass? The overpass. She, you I, think she's going north? So this, you think this is a message from Carolyn Linda, your I, estranged wife? I think wife. so, yeah. Sometimes I find clues left by her. Like, oh, really? She leaves you clues. Okay, so Occasionally. This is, not... this is like a breadcrumb situation. Hansel and Gretel. A little bit. A lot of uh, go away, which means she's not there anymore, and I should go the other direction. Okay. I don't know Tyler, if that's what that means. Tyler, buddy, I know we've been short friends here. We've only been uh, in each other's acquaintance for a, a short amount of time. I think she left you at that Dave Matthews Band concert. No! No! Listen. She took the SUV. She was a little tired. Okay. She, you know, she was looking at, you know, uh, she was very worried looking at her watch a lot. Mm -hmm. It was getting late. I Listen. And maybe she doesn't love Dave as much as I do. Maybe she doesn't love the free rollicking horn sounds of uh, Clay. But that's not what's important. It's love. I've got the ring on still. I can see that. It is. Your finger has outgrown that ring. Yeah. It looks like it is a... They become uh, just swollen and dissipated yeah, from the harsh elements of wandering. Yeah. Your yeah, fingers must be three sizes larger than when you size that ring. I've been in a lot of fists. Yeah. yeah. Jeez Louise. I think, wow. yeah, some of your, your, you might need to get that looked at by a doctor. Those... Like, I'm afraid some of your fingers might be broken. Yeah, I think that's a calcified thumb. Yeah, it's all good, guys. Okay. Listen, hard living on, you know, the road, looking for something important. You, it, you need hands as tough as these, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Combative. Rambo hands. You brought it yeah. up earlier. Rambo yeah. hands. Kurt Rambo. Kurt Rambo. <laughs> I don't watch classic. a lot of movies. I yeah. haven't thought about it in a while. Yeah, well, in that film, there is a, an antagonist to the protagonist. Uh, uh, Brian Dennehy plays a cop. Uh, my get... Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you're Jimmy? Jimmy this is what Buffett I was asking. Jimmy and me are not... <laughs> We, it's a mutual respect sort of thing, because uh, a couple of restaurants I've been in of his have closed due to my right. battles and violence. And <laughs> Your one battles been, closed down the Margaritaville? Yeah, it was the one in Mexico. That was a rough brawl. Wow. That was a toughie. And we have a bit of a cat and mouse relationship. And it, it's 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 pretty tough, you know. He's he's after me, and I'm after him a little bit. At so that's like yeah. a cat and cat relationship. <laughs> Not, not to. I mean, I'm looking for his restaurants, and he knows I'm coming. Uh, <laughs> if you look at the bathroom of any Margaritaville, you'll probably find a picture of me. And it, why? Why in the bathroom? Yeah. Why, why is your picture being posted in the bathroom? Well, you don't want to. The theming there is so nice. Are you putting these up so hey, that I your wife the, finds you? Oh, I, okay. I respect the restaurant and what they're doing for theming. They're not going to put that kind of thing in the main lobby yeah. they put that in the bathroom where it's say, have you seen this gentleman please yeah. call yeah. the authorities or? immediately yeah and okay well tyler i really hope you find uh carolyn but i i hope you find her so that she can tell you once and for all if this is over or not because you seem like a tortured man traveling uh, like a ronin cross country it's margaritaville to margaritaville when the the occam's razor of this situation is that your wife left you at a, at a dave matthews band concert yeah i don't know what you guys are talking about <laughs> and I, I, if I, somebody invited me to margaritaville i'd go in a minute i'd go in a heartbeat I would too. I mean, that, like you said, those apps, you're making me hungry. Yeah. Man. Oh, man. They're sweet Todd chili poppers. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. I've heard really, honestly, and I don't mean to sidetrack this, but I've heard really nice things about Jimmy Buffett. I've heard that he's really great to his fan base. Oh, he's a mm -hmm. sweet, sweet man. But when you're an <laughs> enemy of his, he will come at you full sail. <laughs> full sail? He will. He he seeks and destroys. Fins up, baby. Yeah. Mm. If you're going to own a corporate franchise like that, you need to be tough as nails. We respect each other. Yeah. Okay? That makes sense, Tyler. Well, Tyler, you know, now that we got you here in Portland, where there is unfortunately, not to my knowledge, a Margaritaville, yeah. uh, you know, you might as well stick around, check out what we have to offer around our city, mm -hmm. um, and we are here promoting some comedy shows. Local comedy, baby. I, I'd, I'd enjoy a laugh. It's I live a hard lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you could use a little joy in your life, Tyler. Yeah, and tonight, if, you, if you're available tonight, we got a show at Siren Theater, Broke Gravy, Ooh. and the Improv Giants of Siren Theater. Is that do I have the, yeah. Siren Theater Improv Giants. Yeah. One of those. Uh, that is tonight, at eight o'clock for just ten dollars. That'll be a fantastic collection of local improv talent that I think you should check out. That mm -hmm. is a show we highly recommend. A kickstand, best bet. Yep. Uh, what else do we got, Dylan? We got 
We always got Velodrome on Tuesday nights at Kickstand. We got Secret Aardvark Thursday nights. Always great shows. Yeah, there, you know, what's funny is, is Secret Aardvark is a show with 30 improvisers, some of our favorite in the city, and there's always a secret guest host who kind of like shows up out of the blue a little bit like you did today. Yeah, it's kind huh. of... Very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I have a show I want to plug. Go for it. Uh, here's my best bet for next week. Uh, some of you may be familiar with a uh, uh, comedian, uh, interesting personality, Connor O'Malley. Uh, you know him from the K Chris Gethard show, uh, Late Night with Seth Meyers, uh, and he is going to be in town doing his, uh, his awesome one-man show, Wish I Could Beat My Own. A. I don't know if I can say that on the radio, but oh, yeah. maybe. Uh, but he uh, wish I could beat my my own A. And uh, it's a super insane show. He does wild character work, uh, stand up, and he'll be joined by another awesome comic, Carmen Christopher. Uh, you probably know Carmen Christopher from the Chris Gethard Show. You might know him from I'm Killing It. If you've never Googled that and watched it, it's on Vimeo. Uh, I'm Killing It is a very funny pilot. So uh, Connor O'Malley here live in town. That's my kickstand best bet. Awesome. I got another one for next week, and that is at Curious Comedy the day before Friday. David Huntsberger, uh, who you may know, he was one third of the Professor Blastoff podcast back in the day. Yeah, uh, rest classic. in peace. Um, he's got like kind of surreal philosophy, sci-fi kind of like really fun, brainy adventure style stand-up comedy. That's David Huntsberger at the Curious Comedy Annex next Friday at 7.30 for $10. Yes, X-Ray listeners, go see local comedy here in Portland. If you have a favorite podcast, if there's something that you're obsessed with, we have people here in Portland who are just as awesome who you could see any night of the week. That's right. Tyler, does this sound fun to you? Uh, this sounds like a laugh, right? It sounds like after battling the harsh elements, maybe being inside for about an hour to laugh at, at just the laugh my woes away. Yeah. And just just bring me back to finer times like old DMB. Yeah. Yeah, and a, a laugh riot as opposed to like a regular riot, which <laughs> I know. One of the riots I would create yeah. in Margaritaville yeah. when I would eventually upset the management and yeah. get into a fist fight. Well, Tyler, I really hope that you find the Margaritaville you're looking for and your wife. Um, I, I guess, X ray listeners, I don't know if you've called in to say where the nearest Margaritaville is, uh, but please tell Tyler uh, Scripps if you see him uh, walking around our city. He, he's very easily identifiable. His fingers are mangled to all hell. Mm -hmm. He's wearing nothing but a tattered sack uh and uh he'll be is pointing at people and fighting them i have some parrots i've stolen off the wall from a margaritaville so i might be carrying some of those around if you see it in a uh what is it called again a uh, radio flyer wagon so you know you know i gotta say Tyler, i think you will fit right into our city yeah i think a lot of <laughs> people are, are just about? gonna think that you live here man. yeah like you're gonna be the next uh darth vader uh, blowing fire out of bagpipes guy yeah i can't keep around too long jimmy right. might track me down well tyler right. keep moving i hope jimmy never finds you and uh and i hope you find your wife Thank you, Dylan. All right. And thank you, Aaron. Absolutely. I, anyway, where is Universal City Walk? I'm okay, still waiting we'll, for those we'll, directions. We'll talk we'll, offline yeah. about it. Thank you, and go see some comedy. See ya, X-Ray listeners. Bye. Bye.